Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Michelangelo here bringing you another video. So, woo, it has been a while and I mean a while since we talked about this particular franchise and that of course being Devil May Cry. And I'm super excited for the news that we have in this particular video today. Shout out to Random Black Gamer. This is his video. I'll link all of the info down below um, to his channel and everything. Please go check him out. Go subscribe to his channel as well. Tell him Michelangelo sent you. I find all of his videos pertaining to Devil May Cry very informative and he's like my source for everything to do with Devil May Cry when it comes to news and everything like that and I find his videos extremely enlightening and everything like that. And one of my favorite videos of all time um, of Random Black Gamer um, pertaining to Devil May Cry was uh, the video that he did putting all the cutscenes together for Devil May Cry 3, um, the high definition video that he did um, at the time. It was I think eight years ago, man. It was a long time. I mean, granted Devil May Cry 3 came out a long time ago, but I played the game and everything. But back then, I never really um, took appreciation for the story because I was so focused on the gameplay so much because I was enjoying it, right? And I was still young and everything and it didn't really register as much. But then years later after, um, you know, I found that particular video that he, you know, put together of the cutscenes and everything of Devil May Cry 3 and everything I just I fell in love with the story so much more honestly speaking you know and that's why Devil May Cry 3 remains to be one of my favorite Devil May Cry games of all time you know and that is until Devil May Cry 5 came out um, but yeah I, I just love I fell in love with Devil May Cry 3 um, you know um, after watching his um, you know cutscene video um, of the whole thing you know put together because even back then there weren't there weren't too many this is eight years ago you know we're talking about there weren't too many like cutscene videos that were put together back then but um yeah man I just I just fell in love with the story even more after watching his um you know you have cutscene video um, that he did for the whole story of Devil May Cry 3 so please do me a favor go subscribe to his channel tell him Michelangelo sent you and also say hi for me I'm really excited for the news that we have here today because after Devil May Cry 5 concluded and everything it left a lot of fans wanting more and by more I mean we want to play as Virgil don't you want to play as Virgil I want to play as Virgil he's one of my favorite sons of Sparta and everything like that on top of being spoiler alert the, the, the father to Nero and everything you know and I, I really really want to play as Virgil especially in Devil May Cry 5 because he's got some really crazy he can slash through dimensions man I want to did you see you guys remember the live stream I did pertaining to Devil May Cry 5 and everything and how long it took me to beat Virgil with Dante man in that final fight of theirs hold up Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, Virgil. Yo, okay, okay, okay. Whoa, nice, nice. Oh my god, okay, okay. What the heck? The disrespect. Virgil, Virgil. What the hell, man? I'm your brother. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I, I had. We, we all called that I was gonna die a lot in this. Much, much, much later. Oh my god. Okay, that's it for me. Now... Um, okay, 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 hold up, hold up. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Oh my freaking god, man. It took me a while. It took me a while, but, you know, granted, I'm not the best devil man. I don't do, like, you know, crazy combos and everything. I just play for fun, and I'm a really huge fan of the franchise, you know? And I really enjoy playing it for fun and everything. Like, I'm not an epic, you know, sort of Devil May Cry player like one of my subscribers, Ezio, and everything like that. I'm not, but I love the franchise. I love the story. I'm really, really, really invested in this series, and I just love it so much. And Virgil is one of my favorite sons of Sparta, and I really want to play with him, you know? They give us that opportunity with Devil May Cry 4 with the special edition and everything like that and potentially we might be getting a special edition with Devil May Cry 5. In this particular video that Random Black Gamer has for us, he's going to be speaking on the potential of that and I, and I really hope it does come to pass because I want to play as Virgil, man. I really do. After everything that happened, I just, I really, really do. But anyway, I'm really excited for this particular video. I cannot wait to see what we have here. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. All right, three, two, one, go. Yes, I get to see it with my What's eyes. up, Dante? We get to see with our own eyes whether a special edition for Devil May Cry 5 will actually come to pass. Jackpot! Let's go, man! Let's go! I'm super hyped, man. It's been a while since I did a video on Devil May Cry. It's been a while. 
What's going on guys, RBG here bringing you another video on Devil May Cry and man does it seem like it's been forever since I've done a video on yes, this Yes it game. has been forever. 2019 was an awesome year to be a 2019 was an awesome year, year for Capcom. We got RE2 Remake, Devil, Devil May Cry 5. Saga, and the game was released to generally positive reviews. Yeah, I liked it. Said, 10 out of 10 game for me. There were certain aspects that fans wish Capcom explored but they ultimately didn't. Unfortunately. But it looks like we may just get those aspects. I really hope so. Fingers later. crossed guys. Now, before we jump into today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to today's Trish sponsor lady G2 over there. Awesome. If you're looking for a way to purchase the hottest video games without burning a hole in your wallet, you should really consider checking them out. They offer key codes for different platforms such as Steam, PS Network, and Xbox for half the price of the oh, original. That's pretty cool. So why wouldn't you want to take advantage of this deal? You Good absolutely point. lose if you overpay. Awesome. So go ahead and seize the win. You can do so by clicking the link that will be provided in the description of this video. But anyways guys, as you've read by the title, we might be getting a Double May Cry 5 Special Edition. I really and hope I we do. I say that if this is true, I wouldn't be surprised. Nico. The DLC games have been received in Special Editions since Double May Cry 3 Dante's Ebony Awakening. And Ivory. Like Let's just go. when we thought we had the yeah. perfect game, Hideaki Itsuno shows us how much we were wrong by releasing a definitive yeah. version. Yeah, exactly. Back to the brim with additional characters and I mean, they did the same for Devil May Cry 3, Devil May Cry 4, so why wouldn't they do the same for Devil May Cry 5, right? DMC oh my god, with more DMC. features such as co op. Yeah, for the Nintendo Switch, they, re they the recently Nintendo did Switch. that. Yeah. There seems to be no end wow. to how accessible the franchise can be with all the different versions. Damn. And it looks like Capcom is going to keep this trend going with a special edition for Devil May Cry 5. I really hope so. At the so. end of last month, a 4chan user posted an alleged leak regarding the specific things that will come with this version. And I just want to clarify that although these kinds of posts Which are very iffy, they to play. occasionally hold some truth to them. Especially Man. when there's more evidence that corroborates what was said. I'd also like to point out that the post has since been deleted from 4chan. Wow, okay. But thankfully, I was able to copy the info briefly before it was taken down. Oh, awesome. The alleged leak mentions that the DMC5 special PC, edition PS5, will be released for the Series PC, X, PS5, what? Xbox Series X, Lady PS4, Trish Virgil will be playable. Lady Trish and Virgil will have will be playable abilities. And V will what? have new abilities and will be playable on New secret time. ending? Virgil will have his own story with 2020? Along with a secret this new year? Ending. And if all this is true, okay, you know what? Let me, let me calm down. Let me calm down. I think down. we all wanted to play with the other I three swear Virgil, man. Virgil. And given the fact that it's pretty much become a tradition to include Dante's power hungry brother as a player, let's go with the Yamato there, oh, man. Team's top priority. I think this takes me back. We'll get multiple cutscenes. It as took me an hour to beat him, I think, or even more than that. We got in DMC three and four SE. Yeah. Since we're supposedly gonna get five new missions, I want to We'll more than so likely much. get brand new cutscenes to go along with it. We could possibly get things that fill in the blanks like how he found Nero and maybe yeah, show what he was up to after he got his body back. Yeah. My hope is that the developers actually adapt some of the story elements huh. from the manga such as the visions of Never Nero. Never read the manga. There were so many things left unsaid in the game and not only would this be a smart business decision to include these stories, it would also give the players more closure to this awesome arc. Yeah. Since this leak says that V will have new moves along with more playable missions, I'm thinking that we might just get a shared amount of cutscenes between him and Virgil. I would love Even that. Even though I was relatively pleased with this game. Gameplay, there were a lot of I actually like yeah really yeah it. I actually like these biggest gameplay. complaints I heard was that the move set was a bit automated and he was too slow but it's supposed to be the point. It's supposed to be the point. Yeah. That was the point. Exactly. Yeah. He's supposed to be this super weak and sluggish human. It's like that fragile in a way. Other demons yeah. to do his bidding. It's actually a major story element in the manga where he's trying to escape from Urizen, but his frail body was too weak to do so. So Griffin had to swoop in and save him. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the devs are gonna hammer down on that particular aspect with these additional moves. But moving on, the alleged leak mentions that you can carry over your progress from the first wow. game. Everyone will get new costumes. Back backwards compatibility. Right? Trish and Lady. Begin. Nero will have their DMC forecast. Yo, for real? Oh my god, man. I'd love to see Nero and Dante with that, game, you know. Usually, you will be able to get it for Or rather, Nero hours. with his long hair. I guess I can see some truth to the whole bikini alt costumes for Lady and Trish. Those are characters that are going to feature some etchy fan service. Yep, yep. So the devs are obviously going to exploit those aspects. Of course, that's why. <laughs> but if the rumors are true that we're only getting the oh DLC for outfits for Dante and Nero, awesome. I'm going to be a little disappointed. Like, don't get me wrong, those outfits are cool and all, but I'd love to get something like the DMC2 outfit for Dante. Ah, oh, I see. It's okay, it was cool. It was pretty cool, too, yeah. I fell in love with the character of Dante. It was pretty cool. And other than games like Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, it hasn't really gotten the love it actually deserves. Yeah, I see what you so mean. So I'd absolutely right. love to see. But I mean, personally, I wouldn't mind the DMC4 really costume. Utilizing the power of the RE engine. But yeah. Anyways, I'm a little confused. Just what imagine what the game would look like on PS5. It already looks good. Five bucks if you own the game digitally. Oh, I see. I'm not sure if they mean that the game will cost you $25 
pounds if you purchase it digitally, or you'll have to fork over the extra 25 for the digital copy of the next gen version, uh, like the PS5 and Xbox Series X. But I'm assuming that it'll feature a smart delivery where you won't have to pay for it, yeah. since both systems will have backwards compatibility and optimize the previous gen games even further. True. Whatever the case may be, I'm just happy that we're actually getting a physical copy of the game this time around. That'll be cool. I was a bit worried since we didn't get a physical version for DMC4 yeah, and it was, it was, it over was here in the West. Yeah. So if the rumors are true regarding DMC5 SE, then that'll be a relief. Oh, man. Now, the last thing the leak mentions is that the game will be released in the holiday of 2020. This year? But what? It doesn't specify which holiday. In a recent tweet given by the official Japanese Twitter handle for Devil May Cry, they mentioned that a collaboration with DMC5 Dante, will be Nero, held at the NB, Capcom wow. Cafe on July Capcom 22nd Cafe. to August 26th. Coincidentally enough, this announcement was made a little after the alleged leaks came out. Ah, okay. So we should definitely be on the lookout for some cool updates regarding Devil May Cry 5. But that's Man, all the news I have for you guys today. Awesome. We have less than three days until this it. event happens, and I'm assuming Microsoft will be holding some kind of event too since they have marketing rights to Devil May Cry 5. Yeah. We'll just have to wait and see how they roll it out. But while we wait, let me know what you guys think of all these rumors. Man, do you think I this really hope will it's reveal true. the rumor Devil May Cry 5 Special I really Edition? Hope it's true. Or do you think it'll be something minor? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, I ask Guys, you to like subscribe to Random Black Gamer. It doesn't have to be Black a thumbs gamer. up, it can be a thumbs down. Any feedback is good feedback and will only help me improve on future videos. Awesome. But if you really enjoyed the video, it would help me out tremendously if yeah. you shared it with all your friends and followers on social media. Sharing really makes a difference. Share the video, so once again, like the video RPG guys, signing out on I'll link it in the description down video. below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Man, I, I really hope this is true. I really want it to be true because honestly, I want to play as Virgil so bad. And if the the fact if we're if we're possibly, possibly, because it's a rumor and everything from 4chan and everything, if we're getting the Devil May Cry um, you know, uh, four costumes for Dante and Nero, that would be so cool. I mean I'd like to see how it looked like, you know. Because it's more um they've taken a more realistic look to how they, you know, um, you know, uh, look now in DMC five, um, as opposed to how they looked um sort of anime like in DMC four and everything like that. So I would like to see how that would look. We're getting bikini costume for Lady and Trick. Are you kidding me? I mean after those you know, n naked scenes that they had in the DMC5. I mean, I'd like to see more. <laughs> but for real, man, I'm super hyped and I I'm really crossing my fingers. I'm going to pray that this ends up being true, you know, and everything like that. Just imagine how this game would look like on the PS5, man. Oh my God. Oh my freaking God, man. I really hope so. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below also what you guys think. Would you like this to be true would you like us to get a special edition for uh dmc5 or would you prefer like they just leave everything and just possibly maybe even you know we might get dmc6 or something i don't know maybe but i, I honestly i mean they, they released a dmc um you know uh, a, a special edition for dmc3 they did it for four five didn't it potentially i mean let's just wait and see the the you know judging from the tweet that he just showed us it says july uh, 22nd at the capcom cafe they're going to be showing um something interesting so let's just see um what happens you know and everything like that but i'm really excited and i just i'm just going to cross my fingers man take it with a grain of salt at the end of the day um and we'll just have to wait and see how things go but anyway guys if you enjoyed my reaction to this particular news from random black gamer i'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel if you're new i'd really appreciate that give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i feel so Super enlightened, thanks to him, and I'll leave all of his info down below in the description, like I said. Go check him out. Drop a subscription, tell him Michelangelo sent you, I'd really appreciate that. Also, if you enjoyed uh, my reaction as well, please do me a favor so that you don't miss out on any of my future reactions, live streams, or walkthroughs. Hit the notification bell after you've given the video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate that. Also, follow me on all my social media, Twitter and Instagram. Let's talk about this down below, or even there, um, on Twitter and Instagram, if you guys, um, you know, want to hit me up or anything like that, I'd really appreciate it. And I guess we'll take it from there. Anyway, guys, do me a favor, take care of each other. Peace out. And Jackpot.